The yachting industry is a small world with great opportunities for young, ambitious professionals. However, that still remains a well-kept secret. The sexiness of the yachting lifestyle is not always reflected on site at the shipyards, as they find it difficult to attract and nurture talent in a tight labour market. In this episode of Yacht Talk, we discuss the challenges and opportunities of human resources in yachting. And I'm very pleased to be joined for this show by Carla Limatola of Young Professionals in Yachting and Micah Bonke, Manager of Human Resources at Hasten. I'm Charlotte Kahn and welcome to Yacht Talk by Hasten. My first guest, Carla Limatola, is one of the driving forces behind the Dutch chapter of young professionals in yachting. Carla, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Hi. So tell us a bit more about the uh, organization you, you work for. Uh, what does it stand for? What's its mission? And who are the members? Young Professionals in Yachting started in 2008 in Fort Lauderdale, uh, so in the USA, um, and it started, uh, you know, to unite uh, a group of people, young professionals, um, land-based professional uh, from the age uh, from 20 until from 21 until 40 and um, it started to uh, join uh, all these people to to share knowledge to share um, uh, information about the industry and then it soon uh, expanded to other countries other very important yachting uh, countries such as for example Monaco um, uh, UK uh, and then the Netherlands, Germany came, New Zealand, and Greece and Spain are upcoming. What's interesting about your organisation is the fact that, you, that you, you do conduct research like the one we've just been talking about. Any other key findings or aspects of your research that may sound a little bit surprising? Yeah, well, we conducted a case study, um, you know, also to see where we are at a certain point, right? We started in 2008 and now we were asking ourselves, where are we as an association? Where are we going to as an association? Remember that one of our goals is basically to uh, nurture uh, the talents and the future leaders of the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, who knows, one day in our member base, there might be the new CEO of Heason. Yeah. <laughs> that would be lovely, would to, be lovely. to know. Um, uh, but what we also saw from the, from the numbers that we have analyzed is that um, typically two very much shipyard oriented countries like the Netherlands and Germany are uh, widely represented uh, in a male perspective. Uh, so we see, for example, the Netherlands with a 74% and Germany with 76% of of, um, of male representation, while female uh, uh, members are only at 26 for the Netherlands and 24 for Germany uh, percent, of course. Um, what is very nice to see and what, what makes diversity in this case in our, in our association is that if we take, for example, YPY US, we have a 60% representation of female and a 40% of male. Mm -hmm. And that's probably because of the type of job uh, tier that, that it is represented. YPY US is typically more uh, brokerage and uh, leisure uh, representation in, mm -hmm. uh, in the jobs that they are uh, that, that they're covering, while the Netherlands, Germany are more shipyard and more uh, technical oriented. I recognize um, that um, uh, at Heesen uh, we are a manufacturer, he's uh, builders. So uh, a lot of uh, males, but uh, we have also apprentices that are female. So there's a, a good uh, development. Yeah. Absolutely. So obviously the fact that we are three women talking about yachting at the table, mm -hmm. um, it's great, but sadly, it's not something you see very often in the industry, right? So uh, what do you think the industry can do to attract more females to the profession? And what do you think women uh, can do in, in terms of you know, their skills, uh, maybe their sensitivity as well? I mean, how do they add value? You want to hire the best person, and then the best person needs to be the one that perfectly matches your, your needs. Um, uh, so you're not hiring a woman because she's a woman. And that's, that's very important. On the other side, women need to be aware of the fact that if they have the drive 
to uh, approach a, um, a career which is typically a man's career, we see, for example, some captains who are women, then they need to pursue that career and they don't need to be stopped a little bit by the fact that, oh, that's a male area, maybe I'm not really suitable for that. We, we can do that. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can be equally um, challenging men as well in, in career. Now, everyone who has been to a shipyard knows that teamwork makes the dream work. And you need many highly skilled people to get the job done. So we asked his and colleagues, what's so great about this work? So let's find out. Werken bij deze is vooral leuk ja, vanwege de variatie. What makes me really proud every day is to see everybody working as a team. Het typeren in de base is dat je iets maakt wat je nergens anders maakt. Het is, uh, het is in, in ons vakgebied, als interieurvakgebied, is dit het mooiste wat je kunt hebben. We all have one common goal to build beautiful yachts. Als een mooi schip mag werken, wat er uiteindelijk een heel mooi schip wordt. De mooiste materialen, de mooiste spullen, gewoon goede budgetten. Een beetje als je in de eindfase komt van het, van het jacht en het put loopt vol met water en je ziet het schip, dan denk je wel van nou, toch een mooi project waar ik kan mee mag Ja, en dat ik er uiteindelijk heel wat van uh, kan leren. Ik ben nog maar een jongen van 22, dus. Uh, <laughs> If you're looking for a place where you get to learn a lot of technical skills. Als je een extra uitdaging zoekt in uh, leidingwerk en techniek. Echt die finishing touch te maken. Het beste in jezelf naar boven willen halen. En dan is het wel heel leuk dat je dan na de tijd hoort dat het ook heel mooi is geworden. Als je het maximale uit jezelf wil halen op interieurgebied. Dan moet je definitely come work for Hazen Yachts. Dus ik zou zeggen, kom bij Hazen wel. We zien je graag tegemoet. Right, that's it. I'm sending you my CV tomorrow. <laughs> Only kidding. Uh, but it does look like a great place to work. So, uh, Maaike, what are the biggest HR challenges in this industry? Um, first of all, uh, hey, uh, get the right person in the right place. Um, yeah, with the right competences and craftsmanship. Uh, but also uh, establish our Heason brand in this tight uh, labor market eh, to uh, commit uh, high skilled people. It's very important uh, for us. But um, also um, uh, captivating and binding uh, new employees and employees to our organization. That are our challenges at this moment. You've mentioned a very tight uh, labour market currently, mm. not yeah. just in the Netherlands, but globally, really, it's, it's happening and the lack of certain skills. Yeah. So, do you have to be very creative in, in attracting and finding new talent? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, because to retain um, uh, uh, employees, it's important uh, that um, you have um, apprentices, uh, you offer apprentices, to uh, younger people, um, to get people interested in technology. Uh, so we uh, have a recruitment events on our site. Um, we um, uh, invest in knowledge, in uh, learning. Um, uh, like we have an event in Winterswijk uh, next um, in November. And um, to see what uh, offers technology. So uh, that is uh, important for us. And how do you sell the industry to young people? What do you say or what do you sell to convince them? Uh, I think the passion uh, for craftsmanship um, and the passion for the, uh, uh, the materials you work with. Um, you have one common goal and that's to, uh, to deliver the yacht. And uh, together uh, with your teamwork, with your um, uh, other colleagues and your co-makers to have the same goal um, that's important for everyone and that is uh, where we pride of. It's a marketing issue isn't it? You really have to sell not just the industry but the brand itself. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, yeah you have to uh, say labor market communication, uh, your yeah, employee branding uh, but also uh, I think marketing is also uh, that your employees are your ambassadors of your uh, uh, organization, they uh, post or repost your vacancies or your jobs. 
So it's important to invest also in that uh, 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 kind of things. And um, yeah, we work close together with the uh, department uh, or the marketing department. Yeah. And what makes Heeson in particular an attractive place to work or maybe to nurture those skills that will be needed in industry? I think the development opportunities uh, for young professionals, uh, uh, like uh, Carla mentioned. Um, uh, also, uh, we are located uh, on one location where engineering and production are under the same roof. So your teamwork is very important. But also we uh, want to celebrate our successes with every employee, every colleague, every co-maker. And um, that's very important that you have the same goal, but uh, you have to uh, celebrate your successes also together. So uh, we as Heason, uh, do our best to uh, celebrate our successes. Now, you've also mentioned the, uh, the location, the importance of locations. So how do you attract people locally to the shipyard in Oss, for instance, mm -hmm. um, which is obviously not necessarily a place well known by many uh, people <laughs> who work in the yachting industry acro across Europe, you know, mm -hmm. other than the fact that it's uh, Heeson's headquarters. But uh, what do you do to attract people to, to a place like Oss? Um, we are uh, on events, like uh, uh, last week there was a talent event uh, in Oz uh, for young people. Um, we um, organize events uh, in Oz, but also we have a location uh, uh, in Winterswijk for a luxury uh, interior. So uh, we have on-site recruitment events, so uh, that's very important. And have a good cooperation with uh, education and schools. And also, of course, the fact that they are sponsor of, for example, associations yeah. like YPY, that's also important to promote. Uh, we are uh, very much welcoming um, many shipyards. Matter of fact, many shipyards in the Netherlands are our uh, platinum sponsors. And this helps in um, helping each other, uh, whether they are looking for new talents, maybe we can play a role and suggesting people you know, within our organization who are looking for a career switch. Uh, and on the other hand, we can learn a lot from employees from these very large companies, because of course we want to achieve a certain ethical uh, behavior, which only companies like Heason can give to mm -hmm. young professionals. Yeah. Uh, Michael, earlier you also mentioned the fact that employee retention was one of your, your key targets. Mm -hmm. um, do you run any sort of programs to make sure that employees stay on board? Or do you also run programs to nurture talent uh, within Heason? Um, yes, we have um, uh, two uh, programs at this moment. He's a master's and he's a professional's development programs for our management, but also our uh, project leaders and foremen. Uh, they are part of the Hayes Academy and we invest in uh, uh, onboarding of new employees. So it's very important to uh, give the new employees onboarding and an induction program. So uh, that's also we invest in. Okay. Now I have a final question for both of you. It's quite easy really. It's why do you enjoy working for your industry, for the yachting industry? That's an easy question. That's the best <laughs> industry that there is, right? You get to know the human capital in this industry is extremely uh, nice. Um, have you been to Monaco <laughs> recently? Uh, I, yes, I was there very recently, actually. We had a lot of fun at exactly. Yacht Talk. So yeah. you, you can breathe the, the atmosphere, you can breathe the, this human capital, which is amazing. And you're working with the best ever product in the world. So what more you can wish for. Yeah, you uh, work also with the best people and uh, their passion uh, and craftsmanship um, and pride. Uh, that's why I love the yacht industry. Thank you. And that brings us to the end of our show. Thank you, Carla and Micah, for your career insights in yachting. And thank you very much to all of you out there for watching. Stay tuned for our next very special episode of Yacht Talk on the launch of Heaston's flagship project, the amazing Cosmos. Don't miss it, keep safe, and above all, keep yachting.